Hello and welcome to Council Recap, where we take the content of Council meetings and give you the breakdown. I'm Tristan Davis. The meeting began with a proclamation awarded to Neil Gaffney for his service while in the military and as chair for the Hawthorne's Veterans Affairs Commission. A presentation then followed on the annual fireworks drawing. This drawing determines the locations where nonprofit organizations will operate fireworks booths to raise funds for future events. In the resolution portion of the meeting, Resolution number 7982 was approved, which proclaims May 6th through May 12th, 2018 as Municipal Clerks Week in the city of Hawthorne. This recognition shows the importance of municipal clerks in local government and their contributions to serving in the community. Approved resolution number 7984 proclaims the month of May as Lupus Awareness Month in the city of Hawthorne. This recognizes the fact that more than 16,000 new cases of lupus are reported annually across the country and is believed that nearly 5 million people have a form of lupus worldwide. Resolution number 7985 was approved, proclaiming May 3, 2018 as National Day of Prayer in the city of Hawthorne. Prayer and its importance is deeply rooted in American heritage. Approved resolution number 7989 supports Bill AB 3197, which will continue the personal property tax exempt status that aerospace companies have on qualified property used in space travel. This ensures that California's space innovators expand and prosper in the state, such as SpaceX. Resolution number 7990 was approved, with a council voted to ratify the presumption chart used to determine fees the city imposes on building permits having to do with remodeling or alteration projects to commercial and residential properties. Approved resolution number 7991 established a two-hour parking restriction on the south side of 126th Street between Gravillia Avenue and Hawthorne Boulevard between the hours of 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. except Sundays. Resolution number 7992 was approved, commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Fair Housing Act. The act has granted the real estate profession the opportunity to improve its commitment to fair housing and advance important issues in the communities they serve. In the public hearings portion of the meeting, the council received bids for the purchase and installation of new audio and visual equipment to replace existing outdated equipment in the council chambers. The council voted to refer to staff for study and recommendation. Resolution number 7972 was approved, amending the general plan land use map to incorporate the airport noise contours and amending the noise element to strengthen policies that address noise sensitive uses near the Hawthorne Airport. Ordinance number 2157 was approved, amending the zoning map to establish the boundaries of the airport overlay zone. In the city manager's consent calendar, the council authorized the purchase of land to widen El Segundo Boulevard and create a right-of-way turn lane to northbound Hawthorne Boulevard. The council also approved the payment for nine leased vehicles assigned to the police department and city hall vehicle pools. The vehicles will be purchased through a lease end agreement price and are expected to have a minimum of five additional service years. Thank you for joining us for Council Recap. Remember, you can watch City Council meetings in their entirety at www.cityofhawthorne.org forward slash council videos. See you next time.